those schnauzer lovers uh, and the Buster 40k people and followers we're going to be doing the pre-grooming of Little Bolter here so what we did was is if your dog is high energy you take him to the dog park and get him really really tired because a tired puppy is easy to work on so um, Sachi will go over the stuff what do you got here okay so this is something that you actually use we actually use on dogs Bef uh, in between bathing. What is it? It's an oatmeal conditioning spray. Okay. So they don't really smell all musky after they come back from the dog park. Alright. And this is just a eye rinse for dogs. Um, mainly because they get stuff in their eyes when they're at the dog park or feces in their eyes or whatever it is. It just kind of clears them out. So I just give them a few drops right after the dog park after I wash their paws and everything. Good. I have two types of brushes. This one is for um, when their hair is wet, actually, because I don't want it to tear so much, so it's really soft. And this one I just use on a daily basis. It's actually a human comb, a human use comb. Okay. I have these, which are the round tip scissors. Okay. That's to protect from stabbing them or cutting them. Yes, and then these are tweezers for their ears. Um, I've already actually done Bolter's ears. Good boy, ears, Bolter. Good boy. But I'll kind of show how it's done, just the plucking of the ear hair. I have a guillotine type nail clipper, which we are actually considering maybe changing it out for a grinder. Mm hmm. But we'll see. Our older boy right here is not a big fan of oh. uh, guillotine yeah. clippers. He doesn't like getting his nails cut. Okay, and then we got a toothpaste, canine toothpaste. Definitely never use a human toothpaste. A canine toothpaste, this is actually from Target. And a old used um, electronic electric toothbrush. Yes. Yes. So. It, now, having it all worn out is much better because it's softer on their gums and teeth. Cause, so that's good. Okay. So for plucking their ear hair. Plucking their ear hair, they usually don't like it too much. But what you basically do is you take it, you look inside. His ear hair is pretty much clean, if you can tell. But you just go in and you just start plucking and he's gonna fight you. Remember after the dog park they're a little more easy to work with but since we've already done him earlier today he's already kinda sensitive in the ears but you Here. can start it a little bit at a time. And his nails are pretty much clipped so he's all set for the bath. His teeth nice and clean but if it's not, you just put it in there and you brush. brush, brush. More of circular motions than a back and brush, forth. Brush, brush. Again, a lot of dogs don't like it. Okay. And now we go to bathing the dogs. Now with the tooth br pay, uh, brushing, they have flavored kinds that they actually like. They're a lot more expensive, but once you kind of train them on how to do the brushing, um, with the flavored kind, you can just give them treats afterwards. And trust me, they'll let you know that they demand treats afterwards. So we use this kind when she doesn't really like the taste of it, but it's super cheap and it does a good job. So, <laughs> Anyway, so next we're going to give him a bath. So between the dog park and giving him a bath, he should be extremely tired when we're doing the, the actual trimming itself. 